Because you remember I said right at the start of this lesson that there are two kinds of proportion or two kinds of variation. One where the two quantities get bigger together and one where one getting bigger makes the other smaller. So my comparison was uh, money versus donuts. They both got together. And then uh, donuts versus people, uh, you know, as, as one gets bigger, the number of people, uh, the amount of donut I could eat gets smaller. So here is an example of what we're talking about. And when you think about it, it makes sense. Temperature is inversely proportional. Those are really important words to highlight as you write this down. So maybe underline them or actually get a highlighter out. Temperature is inversely proportional to altitude. Now that makes sense, right? Altitude is how far you are above sea level. As you go further and further away, um, the Earth is warm, right? So the closer you are to the Earth, the warmer you are, you get further and further away, your altitude increases, it gets colder until eventually you know, you're in space, right? At 600 meters above sea level, they just give us this as an example, the temperature is eight degrees Celsius. So we're gonna do three things with this. Number one, we're gonna form an equation just like we did before. Um, we're gonna test out, like how do we use that equation to find out a value? And then lastly, we're gonna graph it, and here's where it really gets interesting, okay? So let's begin just by forming the equation first. So I guess we'll call this part A, form the equation. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me, you remember before, right? We formed an equation for the variation between distance and time. When one got bigger, the other one got bigger too. Here it's exactly the reverse. So I'm gonna say temperature equals, but instead of having some number multiplied by your other quantity, some number multiplied by time, it's gonna be some number I don't know what it is, so I'm just going to give it a, la a label. That's what we do with algebra, right? I'm not going to multiply by altitude because the relationship is in the opposite direction. What's the opposite operation to multiplication? It's division, right? So whereas direct proportion, direct equals multiplication, here for indirect or inverse, I'm going to do division, which is the opposite, right? So I'm going to divide by A. You might like to just put down over here, uh, you know what T is, it's temperature, you know what A is, it's altitude. This K here is some number I don't know yet. So since I don't know what it is, I just give it a label and I'll come back to it. It doesn't take me long to come back to it, in fact. Now that I've written an equation, I've formed the equation for this weird different relationship, I can use the numbers given to us in the question to find out what that unknown number is, right? The temperature is eight when the altitude is 600. Do you see what I've done? I've taken the information in the question and I've put it into the appropriate spots. What's this called when we do this with an equation? It starts with S. We, we've substituted in, right? Instead of T, I've written... <laughs> I, I deserve that. I said start with this. Instead of T, I've written 8. I've substituted 8. Instead of A, I've written 600. I've substituted. Okay. Now I guess I can simplify. Um, I, I thought if I K, what do I do to both sides? Look carefully. I will, yeah, I will multiply by 600, right? Uh, if my timetables are still serving me well, I'm pretty sure that's what K will be. Okay, does that make sense? So therefore I can say the temperature will be 4,800 divided by your altitude. Okay? So now if you know your altitude or you know your temperature, you can find out the other quantity. For instance, um, what would the temperature be if you were a thousand meters above sea level, not, um, what's it called? Not 600 meters. It's gonna be 4,800 divided by a thousand, which is 4.8 degrees. So you can see it's getting colder as you get higher. Does that make sense? Yeah. 